Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to make any animations in iClone. Just, just in this way. Make the animation in iClone and finally send it to Unreal Engine to make these 3D animations into your game. Put it in your game project. This is Unreal Engine 5.5. .5. And start from now, I'm going to show you all these step by step how to make the 3D animation for Unreal Engine by using the icon. Let's go! Alright, first I'm going to start from icon and I'm going to just call out an avatar select from the 3D avatar and as there are more, I'm going to just choose one of it drag and drop then next I'm going to just apply a motion I'm going to just choose a motion as there are more Choose it from here, the animations, motions, human, female, perform, and let's say I want to look the air dance that I try to play. Now this is the air dance. Alright, I'm going to just turn this on to just look at the keyframe. So I turn this on, then I click here, just fit to window. And actually what, what we need is just this part, drag and drop to here. And then just click here, look at the actual size and drag this to exactly go to the point at exactly the keyframe at that moment then at here close it now you can see this is the range and the next step just export as FBX click file export FBX the target tool preset choose the Unreal Engine then the current frame we change it to range this is the range that you want to embed the texture, click export. And as demo, I'm going to export it on my desktop, name this as model01, click save, click OK. Now it is exports as the Unreal Engine compatible FBX file. You can see the FBX file is already here. So next, I'm going to just launch the Unreal Engine. For today is the Unreal Engine 5.5, .5, the latest versions. 5.5.4, I launch it. And wait for a while, now it is launching. Now you can see the Unreal Editor is launching. Just wait for a while. Alright, now it is here. As there are more, I'm going to just create a fresh new game project. Click the game. And I'm going to just choose the third person. Click create. Now it is going to create a fresh new game third person, a new third person game project at here. Just wait for a while, it is initializing and you need to wait for a few seconds. Now it is already here, almost here. First step, just go to the window, content browser, just call out the content browser one. Window, content browser one. Where is it? It is at here. Drag it up. Now. And here under the content folder, we are going to just create a folder for the 3D avatar, name this as model01. Then double click it. Next, drag and drop the FBX file into here. Drag and drop. It is translating the source file and wait for a few seconds until you can see this. Just click import. It is going to import everything at here. And have a look. Later, you can see a, an animation as well. Now it is still importing. Wait. All right, now it already done. You have the three D model. Just look everything. Perfect. Close it. Now we are going to check the animations. This one. Everything look okay. Just the specular, the reflection. We are going to just adjust the material. Just now, 
Opacity is okay. The roughness, the specular, you can just just shut it down. Specular, if you don't need. And observe one more time to see if without spectic the specular, what will it look like? I save it. Now it is saving and observe one more time. Where is the avatar? The model zero one is set here. And also one more. The roughness. Where is it? The material. The roughness, just take it out. Normal. Take it down. Now save it and have one more look. Alright, now there's no normal map at all. Everything looks smooth. Alright, so now again. The normal, the roughness. Roughness if you put some value. If you don't, then just take it out. Then here if you put it as zero. And look look again. Save it. And one more time, check your model. Now the roughness it, it will just become like a, a metallic. So what about if you put it the put the roughness as one hundred? Now save again. Just that's it. Now it, it look better. That means we we just want to set the roughness to 100 and how about the normal the normal map is just now it, it is set here the rgb where it connect to here so just now here this is the normal Then save it. Check the model again. Now it will look more nature. It's better. Now close it. Check the animation sequence. The dance will be okay or it look okay. That means you really can just send send this into into your game project just drag and drop at here it will become just like an npc if you try to play the game you can see this 3d avatar is dancing it's in the game world it will keep on repeating the animations just like an npc you can set the program you can set her to respond to the player's avatar now just not not yet said anything yet right and at the beginning this 3d avatar it is at uh, the icon now she already become inside the unreal engine 5 5.5 game project and that's all for today about my tutorials thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials and sharings if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3d modeling 3D animations and 3D game developing. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing. See you!